Okay, in this lesson I'll show you just a couple examples of some applications using anti-differentiation. So let's look at our first example here. Uh, here we go. We have a curve and we want to find the function whose derivative is f dash x equal to 4 minus 2x and has a maximum value of 7. All right, so first of all, let's just go over what this maximum value of 7 means. Uh, it means that on our curve here, it, it means that the y value is 7. So this point here is x something 7. Okay, that's, that's what I know for sure so far. And um, so the first thing I want to do is to find that x value. I want to find that x value right there. All right, well, how do I do that? I know that the, the gradient at a maximum is equal to 0. Here's the gradient function here. So the, the gradient of a maximum value equals 0. So the first thing I do is to... Uh, First thing I'm going to do is to uh, find the coordinate. Find x1, y1. Okay. I already know y1. It's 7. So I set it equal to 0, the gradient function, and I solve for x. So 0 equals uh, 4 minus 2x. And that's a pretty easy uh, equation to solve for x. Uh, subtract 4 to the other side, and I get negative 4 equals negative 2x. Uh, divide by negative 2, and I get uh, x equals 2. Okay, uh, that's that's nice. So, so x1, y1 equals 2, 7. Okay, so let's say x1, y1 equals 2, because I just figured that out, and 7 because they gave it to me. Okay, well that's uh, pretty important information because I need that point to find the constant of integration when I differentiate it, anti-differentiate it, sorry. And that's our second step. Um, if I'm given the derivative function and I want to find the original function, I have to use anti-differentiation. Okay, so I'll <coughs> anti-differentiate this um, equation right here, and I get, and that's f of x when I uh, anti-differentiate it, and I get 4x minus 2x, add 1 to the exponent, and divide that by the new exponent, plus a constant. And this is the point I use to figure out the constant. And I'm just going to simplify this a little bit because these two cancel out. And I get an equation of um, 4x minus x squared plus c. Okay, well, that's, that's nice. And our third step is to substitute uh, this, this point, x1, y1, into our formula here to solve for that constant. Okay, and remember, f of x is the same as y, so that's going to be 7. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, remember, f of x is 7 equals uh, 4 times, wherever there's an x, I'll put a 2 in, 4 times 2 uh, minus 2 squared plus c. So I'll just simplify all of this to find out what that constant is. Um, 7 equals 8 minus 4 plus c. So 7 equals 4 plus c, running out of space, but c must equal 3. Okay, so that wasn't wasn't too bad. And finally, my last step is to rewrite the equation. And when I say the equation, uh, I'm wanting the uh, original function, which is this one. And I just put in 3 for c, and I'm set. Okay, so here's our, here's our final answer here. Here's the uh, original function, and here's the gradient function, um, and here's the max point. So let's Let's try another one and see how you do. Okay, let's try this one. Here's another one. Uh, find the function whose derivative is f dash x equals 4x plus 12, and it has a minimum on the x-axis. Okay, so what do we know about uh, having a minimum on the x-axis? What that means is this is going to be um, the, the, whoops, the coordinate here is going to be x something 0. If it's on the x-axis, that means the y-coordinate is 0. So I do the first, same thing I did last problem. I find, uh, I find that x-value. And what we have to remember about that is that the, the gradient of the minimum instead of the maximum is 0. So I set my gradient function equal to 0 and solve for x. So 0 equals 4x plus 12. Subtract 12 to the other side and then divide by 4. Negative 12 divided by 4 uh, gives me negative 3. Okay, so that means my point, x1, y1, x1, y1, equals negative 3, 0. 
Next step, just like last time, was to anti-differentiate this function. So I'm going to find f of x. And that's going to give me uh, 4x squared over 2 plus 12x plus a constant. And I'll use that point to figure out the constant. Um, let's simplify this a little bit. 4 over 2 simplifies to 2x squared plus plus 12x plus c. Okay. Now you know what I do. Substitute this point into the equation to solve for c. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, remember, 0 represents f of x, or y. So I say uh, 0 equals 2, wherever there's an x, I'll put a negative 3, and I'll put it in brackets, uh, plus 12 times negative 3, plus that constant. So I have to be careful simplifying here, though, making sure I don't make any number mistakes. Uh, negative 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Uh, 12 times negative 3 is minus 36 plus that constant, uh, working it out, 18 minus 36 is negative 18. So that means C must give me uh, 18, if negative 18 plus C is 0. And now I'm ready to rewrite the equation right here, just putting in, substituting 18 for C. Okay, and those are just, just some examples. There's, there's lots more, but this should get us, get us started on some. Okay, good luck.